Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Cesar, and you are listening to Heat Check Radio. After a refreshing hiatus, we welcome everyone back with a two-month-sized episode to not only show some fresh songs that Heat Check has to offer, but also as me and my brother JMG discuss some topics like our hopes and fears for the future of Heat Check, future music plans in our March recap, different opinions on the landscape of music, and more shit like that. And finally, we discuss my new single, You Said You Weren't Lonely, which you'll hear right now. I'ma try to one take it, but you know I'm not Superman and shit. I'm sick as shit. I got an ear infection. I can't even mix. I can barely record, but I just, you know, I felt like I had to do my due diligence. It's Zar. You said you weren't lonely. Heat check. Seventeen plus thirty-two more. That equal I don't know. Getting DMs on the gram from people I don't, I don't know. know Told bitch. my bitch this the third day. Said now you gotta go. Play ask me if I ran out, but I still got it. So got me and my homies from the south ain't no east side. And pull up on you with them stones like the beach pipe. They see the zar and they know they wanna be like them. Hold oh, on the internet. I told her keep typing. Better keep typing, bitch. You said you wasn't lonely. You lied for me back then. We was homies. No, we never tried for me. I just gave the shit. In my way, so don't you cry for me Couple people in this world I know would die for me, huh But the list gets shorter by the day Dealing with some struggles, you can see it bright as day By the way, pay attention to us, you can find your way Music moving slow, cause I got issues by the way huh. Yeah as hell, rolling up a pack, they're not gorillas back, never signing shit and no deals without some mills attack, feeling fact, even signing pain, there's no appeal to that, couple years ago, my own wig, I wanna peel it back, Almost split my shit, the real is back, and honestly, I'm done lying, acting like y'all hard, cause y'all flows and y'all punchlining, fuck flying, I'ma take a train to get them bucks flying, fuck trying, about to double back and say no truck flying, y'all can't do what I do, and that's the truth about it, spin, if you want by my words, I hit the booth out it, if you got his knuckles up, I got my men to knock a tooth out it But my people numero uno, I take a shoot out it But even if my life end today, flex the shit and building up is how I keep my wife in play Trying to change the shit, you know, despite my name George. Something, 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 fuck, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say, fuck Yeah, you know what the fuck I was trying to say Man, you said you weren't lonely, cut that shit the fuck out Can't lie to a liar, shit, been doing this shit a long time I'm getting real sick of this life shit, but you know what? I'm about to make this life shit real fucking sick of me real soon. Alright, I'm going back in. Yo, hanging with the homies, couch house kicking it, drink in my hand, I can feel this bar I'm kicking high in. Shit. Homie hooked me up, but she said I won't get shit again. Had reflections, time I almost puked, now I feel sick again. Is my head so clouded that I'm missing shit? If I die tonight in my head, don't think that they missing shit. No, really, they be sick as I am, and they be missing him. Selfish as a bitch, the choice is easy, I can't pick again. No, huh? So now the cycle keep on going in the circle. The drug get the drug till my face turn purple. Purple in my cup, not enough to make my face sick. Pale as a ghost on whole street trying to face life. How you supposed to learn if that lesson never get to you? I get why they hate you, so you carry no respect for you. You just trying to help, so how I'm looking if I pressure you? Lie in my face, it's like a joke. That's unforgettable. I'm forgettable. So I thank my family friends, even though it's not the end of my sitting striking when the stove is hot. Bow. If it's said and done, then I'ma get the chroma glock and pop, 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 pop. until the moment stop. Huh. And no, I'm not no crash dummy, but hungry as a bitch, so I might take you for that cash Give money. That Make your car crash, family's dead, that's the toll for me. Ain't been the same since my Grammy took my soul from me. Uh, huh. Not to blame her, plenty of the things, but the pain from that alone did something fucked up to me. No one cared but family, and that was fucked up to me. So you better think twice before you buck up to me. Best. I got like two hard strings to pull in another two fingers on my strap. I beg you, fool. Not the predator, senator, leveraging some fools. Don't respect me when I say I'm out here getting it too. Oh, God. Four hours sleeping, I still dance around you local cats. Talk some real shit while eyes closed. Hands folded high. Open sack of bitch. She thinks she's special. She a normal brat. Paragraph on paragraph. You know that I'm ignoring that. Shut up, bitch. 
So the elephant in the room and like the most recent release that we have with the uh, with the Heat Check label sure. is um, You Said You Weren't Lonely, which mm-hmm. is your debut lead single. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. Mean? So I wanted you to talk about not only like the process of making it, but also the process that um, we went through when it came to the rollout and getting it on services, which I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll talk about maybe my portion of it at the end, but I think the most important part is you talking about uh, your side of how this song came about. Yeah, there's no problem. Um, so, I mean, like... I noticed that for the first, I would say, like, you know, th- th- quarter of this year, I was I was really lacking when I, I was supposed to be working, and I just have, I've been dragging my feet a little bit, and I understand that not only the fans are waiting on me, but my family and Heat Check is waiting on me, too, so I, uh, I you know, I got the beat, and then uh, started writing to it, and I was just like, I, the beat the beat gave me the inspiration, obviously, for the, the vibe of the song, but it was very personal to me, like, the, the lyrics, I know y'all could probably tell in the second half where I'm talking about, you know, a certain place I was chilling and all that stuff, but go listen to the single if you don't know what I'm talking about but um it was very personal and I, I I wanted it to be a banger but I wanted it to be like I wanted you to feel me like I wanted you to under, try to understand me if that makes sense you know what I mean yeah and, and um I was gonna say too in a very rare sense it wasn't an in-house beat at all no it wasn't not at all but uh the other part of that that was such a pain in the ass was the rollout because with distribution we've been really working on trying to get my uh, whole Spotify and Apple Music thing set up and everything like that and it ended up you know posting to the wrong czar on 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 uh, Spotify which that happened to me once back in the day yeah yeah so it's it, it was a real pain in the ass and it was a little disheartening but by the time uh, it made it to the right place and got released and i got the reception that i got from it it made me feel a whole lot better about the yeah. whole situation and i mean working with the same distribution like like i can say that uh it, it's one of the most gut-wrenching and stressful feelings in the world where like even if you're sitting there with the song on the wrong page for two days one Seriously. day three days it doesn't even matter right like no. even if you think about that being on the wrong page for a weekend's worth of days like that's that amount of days that something isn't right that you can't really control and and, and it's it's cool because even though our distribution is so kind and and really has one of the best cleanup jobs in the game like oh, you still are you're fucking sitting there gut-wrenching seeing that it's not in the right place yeah especially because like you know uh, i put the promo out like probably like a week prior oh hope, yeah hoping that it would be a day or two after that i'd be able to like release it and get everybody to hear it but in reality it took about a week for us to even get it on the right page so. yeah and i mean I, it's cool too because like uh you look at a song like this and you think like wow it must take like three weeks to roll this out um but luckily for for something like this we were thinking wow we could actually have this out within 24 hours 48 hours yeah. um and it, it was kind of like that but it because it wasn't in the right space it just you know our window when we thought we could have had maybe a 48 hour turnaround with this rollout it turned mm. out to be a little longer than that and that yeah. also can be a little disheartening yeah especially and, with promotion and and, and and honestly like not even disheartening as much as just like a bit of a pain in the ass oh yeah you know yeah so, but I'm but I'm glad it all got sorted, and I'm glad that uh, everybody who's heard it has uh, enjoyed it so far. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely your greatest work to date, and I was telling everybody it's definitely your most honest piece that I've ever heard. See, that's and that's I feel the same way. I feel the same way. I wouldn't tug on Superman's cape, bitch Two pounds on the flight, TSA go say shit amazing Look at every step we took, broad day went We were down bad, all my family on the way, bitch And bitch, I got the sauce, she tryna see how it's tasting Fucked up her day like a blunt that was laced with Something or something, if I run out of money I hope for a second that none of it was wasted, man Fuck, bitch, nothing more than an investment Your bitch, 16 and she pregnant And you have no nuts being a dick in my mentions We can have that conversation, turn the hall to a convention I wanna single-handedly sell out M.A. SG just to rub it in their faces This is not the rat race that y'all should be chasing I'm a different kind of cat, y'all just fish like filleting Some of y'all never got toss mark Don't say shit to me if you are wearing dog marks Wrongful termination, yeah Like we won't, and that ain't defamation, yeah But we can talk her alone all summer No one hit me up, I know they want me dead They don't give two fucks Over to the greatest fucking album no one wanted I'm lost in my process, Big JG from Boston I'm off I wish to tug on Superman's cape, bitch Two pounds on the flight, TSA go say shit amazing Look at every step we took, broad day went We were down bad, all my family on the way, bitch And bitch, I got the sauce, she tryna see how it's tasting Fucked up her day like a blunt that was laced with Something or something, if I run out of money, I hope for a second that none of it was wasted that fuck Two
I want to talk about a, uh, this is kind of a very theoretical topic. You can kind of philosophize okay. on this for a little bit. Uh, I love, I love me some philosophication. You hey, know and you know me, <laughs> philosophy major, JMG. I mean, we'll come on, long come on, talk things. nice to us. <laughs> no, but go ahead. Um, and I already have my answers. So if you want to think about it, you sure. can definitely think about it while I get my answer. Sure. Um, but this is going to talk about just like in general hopes and fears regarding the future of um, heat check. Uh, yeah. Not to, I know it sounds like a really heavy question, no. but um, you'll see the direction that I'm going to go. Sure. My hope is um, I want to do not only more in-person events, which by Correct. the way, not to leak anything, but we might have some really Ooh. cool shit coming soon. Boy, you guys um, are not ready for that shit. But we really also want to keep going with the Discord events because yes. we got the Discord right where we wanted to. That first Discord event in October during Halloween was Low super key. fucking sweet. We dropped it like it was hot. Oh yeah, and and it's cool. And I mean, it's cool because like I'm not very integral to the Heat Check Discord events. Let's be honest. I Fair I know plan. I'm I'm CEO and everything, and it's hey JMG right? Like, but real talk, there's a lot of stuff that we could do with the Discord that I don't really have to be there for, but Correct. I can at least set up and help plan and chase. Correct. Some of my fears are that we we're not staying on track like we're supposed to like 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 jmg said we have a couple projects that, that are under wraps that we've been working on for a while that are not really on pace like we wanted them to be and i i can count that up to my own personal accountability but at the same time i just want to make sure not only as an artist at evp and as jmg being the ceo that we're making sure all of our heat check members are Play, playing their part oh absolutely and I, I think it's also one of those things that it's it, it's super good that you have that in your head just like how the rest of us have that in our head because real talk how do we help our talent get better right how do we help celebrate our talent's achievements if we're not on our p's and q's you know correct. what i mean like how do we set the example for the rest of the label correct so and that's a that's a big thing and that's why i've kind of to try to put a fire under my own ass because i mean shout out blizzy no kizzy because honestly man because of him best work rate in heat check I, I, best work rate in heat check and i've been busting my ass ever since because he he, he lit a fire under my ass man him and and key, key two times that motherfucker cloud god key he he's been putting in work really too. good work rate right there he's had a really good work rate for for a couple years now yeah so i i appreciate Lo like i watch y'all and I, i'm the oldest low-key out of all of us and i yep. watch y'all and y'all inspire me to go harder and that's that's the other thing that's real important about like what we do so Like me, but he know that he gotta do better. I'm on top of the rank and I'm spilling the drink. I just dropped the alcohol in the sweater. Oh These niggas be on my dick. Niggas know that y'all gotta do better. These niggas be hosting, you bitches be joking. Y'all they gotta get it together. I ain't no killer, but nigga don't push me. You dead if you step on my suits. I hit Linux like three times. Came out, I was stepping in Gucci. Yeah. I told that bitch that she ain't good for nothing. I just wanna fill on your booty. We beat his ass in the park and we smiled about it. That nigga's a goofy. <laughs> Got one top, stay on my side. Two bitch boys ready to die. Got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, man. Fuck it, they ready to slide. Fuck. He can run, but it's nowhere to hide. Texting me, I was coming outside. He had his phone in the hand, like, what? Niggas was not gonna fight. They be smart, I'ma knock out his lights. Low back boy built like a dyke. They be like, room, is you gonna spend on this block? Nigga, I might. I be doing shit, doing this slight. Going brazen, we shooting all night. I'm hitting the gas. And they got me out like a light. He wanna be like me, but he know that he gotta do better. I'm on top of the rank and I'm spilling the drink. I just dropped the alcohol in the sweater. These niggas be on my dick. Niggas know that y'all gotta do better. These niggas be hoping you bitches be joking. Y'all they gotta get it together. I mean, real talk, if we want to talk my biggest fear as a CEO, it's just heat check failing, right? Of course, um, but we're not going to let that happen. Yeah, but what about, like, on the other end of the spectrum, right? What's the things that, like, as a CEO, I cannot think about, right? Sure. So the fear that I picked is rainouts in shoots or heat check live wire. Yeah. And I say shoots because there could be some outdoor projects that we do for shoots and shit. Like we do a little bit of vlogging. We do a little bit of, we do a little we bit do of it. And, and live wire is, is always filmed outside. So. Always man. So, and we always do it on the same set. So like, Correct. even if we're not filming on day a, mm -hmm. but we're planning to film on day B. Sure. Like 
even if the set itself isn't rained on, that could also fuck up production too. It can, so. because the big problem I think we face as a group, even right now, never mind the future, is that we're all on different schedules. And we're all in different places too. Like, we Correct. do gotta commute and meet up and shit a lot, so. Correct. That's kind of like, I mean, I was gonna say too, it's hard to really also explain without doxing everybody, but like, Correct. we're we're all together, but we're all, we're all together, we're all close, but we're still, we got a little bit of distance between us. Yeah. Stay to myself, don't ask how I move Be everywhere, my car on zoom How about the whip and handle some fumes Door lock, you can't enter my room Door lock, can't enter my room I've been steady, moving with directions Moving real low key, I we ain't flexing Hard to get in touch, you ain't connecting I'm the one nigga that ain't catching Oh, I'm like, oh, fuck this joke Bitch, you better move I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh I've been working on some songs, making sure my money long. Cut off folk, I ain't wrong. Watching how I'm moving, sending texts they won't include it. Cause we had to shoot that movie, try to do it how I do it. Uh, sitting in a trap and they put some product. Then they get kids that don't lose their mama. Been in that shit, yeah, I had me some drama. 14 years old, only wanted some comments. Living so fast, yeah, I didn't crash. So many times we had to do it to dash. Your life can get took in a flash. That song, you ain't getting back. I've been steady, moving with directions Moving real low key, I we ain't flexing Hard to get in touch, you ain't connecting I'm the one nigga that ain't catching Ooh, I'm like, oh, fuck is yours Bitch, you better move I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, the fuck is yours Bitch, you better move, bitch, you better move my biggest hopes i mean obviously like like you kind of said as ceo and like as in, for me as evp and shit and as an artist i mean i can't wait until we all blow yeah, I, i'm excited for that but everybody says it's about the the, the journey not the destination da, da, da. i, agree with I that, think though. that's a crock of fucking shit though to Oof. be honest with you because I for me like agree more I sit, and, and i respect that but ever since i was a young kid you know i've been after my bag like I'm and nervous. i love this yeah, rap yeah. shit this rap shit is like part of the reason why i am who i am today so don't don't think that i'm not doing this for the culture because i am mm -hmm. but at the same time like you know i gotta get my bag right and like until we can like work on monetizing this whole thing yeah. it's it's stressful on everybody because yeah. we're all trying to figure out where our next meal is going to come from these are the best years and the most formative years of heat check oh, which is why i'm very much so enjoying being at like the steve like being at the steve jobs like For garage sure. level right now another thing i was going to say is <laughs> as much as everybody loves like the new tyler the creator also shout out he just dropped his oh little, yeah his little deluxe oh yeah um everybody goes back and listens to oldie because that, that's just one of them ones and it's like it's the like like jmg just said it's those are their formative years where they're really trying to get their sound to put put to put all the pieces together and you can see it and it's still heat especially seeing all the directions that every single member of odd future went after that like right. seeing what tyler became seeing what frank became yes. seeing what earl became jasper um haji even though haji didn't really do much after because cetera, he fucked cetera. himself um uh everyone really like yeah it, so in that in that vein i cannot definitely understand uh what jmg is talking about and i guess i do sound a little cynical in that way but no I'm but also... i understand where it comes from because you're just like can i i you're like 
fuck it. I just want to hit the fast forward button. Not and even I, just I, that. I just yeah. can we get a bag? I need a bag. Like the minute that I make my first hundred thousand off a of rap, I'm done worrying about money. If that makes oh, sense. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like it'll be more about the culture then for me than it will ever be about the money. I, I just I need to get that. to a point where I can feel comfortable. Yeah, like you. It, when you can make a living off it, that's when you can kind of relax and enjoy it. Enjoy the journey a little more. Exactly. Yeah. I can only do this so many tries, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm all fucked up in the booth right now, but I yeah. promise I'm on my okay. way out. I ended up punching. I made a lot of... The game turned down, yeah, the boys turned up, yeah, the game turned down, the game turned down, the game turned down, the game turned down, the come on, come on. Come on, huh? A million times, same place, take this a matrix. Leo. A million purpose sets couldn't take away my hatred. No. Feels like a million people always on some snake shit. Look like a million dollars rocking on my vape shit. Mm. I started off this rap shit for my bro from the basement. Broke the million bitches, I could never use a latex. Nah. Shit don't feel off, don't know when it'll make sense. Nope. I'm just trying to find the purpose, God, he touched my patience. Touched my I'm sick of lying on the beat, sick of crying in defeat. When I know my mom and papa gotta eat, huh? I can fill the plate up if I worked harder. Papa always told me it'd be better if you work smarter. smarter. So we gotta do it. If not for him, then maybe mom should be lifting heavy weights. Know that she to pay the bond. Never mind my bitch, I swear she kill you hoes. Think about starting a war before you get in close. She really always do that shit. for me, so I gotta pay to get a toes in a head in. Promise I'ma fly us out to Paris. Even if I can't smoke weed, you be the fairest. Go look at the mall, I'ma ball till I fall. Tell him if they talk my honey, get a saw to his jaw. Fuck around. I'm gonna catch him in the stall for my dog. Philosophically, I gotta crawl for our bra. Passenger princess, she in love with the mall. Kinda about my bitch, I'm really talking about myself. So, standing on all ten toes, I never know, yo. Bro, they say if it's all bad, then throw the cell phone. Throw bitches live, so I'ma probably draw my cell phone. It ain't easy being greasy, shout the method man. Even if I go flat, I always gotta check the hand. I got the demon in my spirit like a hexagram. Even if you better, you never rub him in a G like me. Honestly, See, I'm kinda sick I'm with sick. it If we in the north, they probably say I'm on some wicked shit Turn your ass around, I'm about to hit you with the hypnotic You ain't doing much shit either, you, you a hypocrite. hypocrite I'm about to spin this bitch till the wheels fall off No mistake, so we keep a pump side on If the FBI listening, we joking, of course I'm in the booth high, I've been smoking, of course We not a drug mindset, got divorced I'm drunk as shit too, and that don't count, of no. course oh. I'ma play it to the end of me Honestly, I'm wanting more friends and less enemies but Something about the energy, keep on jumping me Play it cool, don't let this shit get the best I of me I think I'm gonna end this now, let's not waste no time I'm sure you hit productions, already aged like, like wine I love to pick up a pencil, put down my nine But I'ma keep on doing work until I feel the time coming From the reaping, never running Mortality, reality, I'm just trying to run it Maybe duke it out with the devil, chew with God He checks all bomber, we the mob We the motherfucker Zara. Yeah, <laughs> I'm up. How was your march, Zara? Um, my march is actually really good. I would say my march was pretty fucking pretty productive considering like i like i said the first quarter of this year I, I i wasn't doing really what i felt like i was supposed to be doing and then march came and something happened to me and i just i, I i've been working like i've been working like a what motherfucker bro I, flipped the switch I, I swear to god i flipped the switch and the thing is is like i can't say too much to you but i got a lot a lot of shit coming for y'all very very soon so my march has been pretty good Oh yeah, and plus like I'll, I'll say this too, like at least on a heat check in general basis, like there's a lot of shit that y'all see in April that we filmed in March, uh, February, January that like like we just have so much shit that we have to roll out that I'm excited for. Um, the live wires recently have been really really fucking good, and that's been a huge part about March. However, um, as far as like my March in particular, right, like personally. Um, a lot of just living, a lot of surviving, a lot of making music, a lot of cultivating careers, a lot of content making. But most importantly, I would say um, regarding my march was 
spring break because it was like four of the EVP boys, um, including myself, went out on spring break with one of our friends. Uh, we went down to the mountains. We went to literally a place that none of us have ever been before except for maybe Gabe, right? And even though it definitely was out of our comfort zone, it was something we were very much so ready for and we definitely had a good time. And plus we have a, we, we pretty much vlogged the whole thing too. So I would say in April around like, around like the end of spring break season, like that's when y'all should expect that vlog. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Sound. Does it go over your head? You better listen now. They don't like that little lyrical flow. That hip hop ass shit better drill, kill, blow. 16, we was jugging. Look at how I grow. Punch lines hit your chest. That's how hard I throw. Real private, don't know me. I like to stay real low. So if a nigga want smoke, he ain't got ammo. Move like a demon in the dark when the eyes gon' glow. Last nigga wanna be, start to see and crow. They call me Blizzy, you can knock me off my plateau. I dropped one track, they was like, you wanna do a shit? Show. Solid ground, solid ground Rapping the bars, they keep you on the ground They don't like when you real, they like to turn you down Being mainstream, then I would have to dumb it down Watch me in a month, I'm counting 10k plays I got like 10k ways to make bands for days Put that add a three up, put my name in they face Make them click, they finna click, this ain't a SoundCloud phase I'm in a whole new lane, my group move like Wu-Tang Avatar like Aang, I got God like Aang Cheat codes, no game, I watch y'all for a shame The energy I don't claim, look at who I began Niggas know my name, no I never been lame I'm out here freezing they frames, tickling they brains This shit be my domain, take a trip to Spain, I made it through that rain. Had to go through pain, but look at what I gained. The knowledge I've retained. Drinking some champagne, a lot of dogs that slain. This my campaign. Had to grow, not the same. Had to get in my lane, yeah. Solid ground, solid ground. Rapping the bars, they keep you on the ground. They don't like when you real, they like to turn you down. Being mainstream, then I would have to dumb it down. 40 rounds, that sonic sound. Does it go over your head? You better listen now. They don't like that little lyrical flow. That hip hop ass shit, better drill, kill, blow. Solid ground, solid ground. Rapping the bars, they keep you on the ground. They don't like when you real, they like to turn you down. Being mainstream, then I would have to dumb it down. 40 rounds, that sonic sound. Does it go over your head? You better listen now. They don't like that little lyrical flow. That hip hop ass shit, better drill, kill, blow. So here's the deal. So I've been working on what I will say is a new a new project for all streaming services. 
I'm not gonna touch on that any more than that. That's that's all I'll say about that. But my other project that I'm working on that I'm really hoping you guys are gonna enjoy is gonna be um, a remix tape. Mm. So basically like all of my favorite beats from my favorite artists from the 90s and early 2000s and things like that because I, oh, a lot of yeah. people try to tell me that I sound like I, I rap from the 90s da 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 like because a lot of people don't understand the music shit they think you're pretty boom bappy yeah and I and I do enjoy the boom bap beats and that they're right up my alley so oh, yeah. I was like fuck it like and I've already done it for so long I mean if you remember back during the SoundCloud days I already have a couple of remixes up there so like it's it's um that was something that I've always dreamed of, dreamed of doing and I obviously am stealing um inspiration from Lil Wayne with his dedication tapes but um I kind of wanted to do that uh, that type of thing on my own and I'm excited to show that to y'all because I think it's going to be very exciting that's going to be a really cool fucking edition because I love dedication man so for me I think you guys know where we're headed with the future of uh of JMG y'all y'all saw the first over y'all saw the second over I think it's it goes without even announcing that a third over is on the way. <laughs> Let's um, go. Of course. Let's go. I have to finish out this trilogy. It, there's a lot that was put into that first over with me coming into the scene and me being able to introduce myself and my abilities to everybody like, and, and just kind of go all around the table type shit and try to cover as much as I could. I'll tell you this, like, dropping the first over when I was 15 after having made it 14 completely, like, no sampling, like, made it all in-house, like... And then, you know, to get it on platforms and to like kind of serve as like an example at a young age and at a different time, because this is back in like 2019, um, pre-pandemic, it, it just seemed almost impossible. So I, I really wanted to serve as that example and I really wanted to inspire other people that no matter what age you are, no matter what part of your life you might be in, you can always do something like that you've always dreamed. And that's exactly what it was for me personally. And so I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's been like that for many, many other people. Yeah. And I think like with over two, it was more so like, um, with over two, it's, it's, it's funny because like, it's a different time period. Now we're in like post pandemic era where everybody can drop music anywhere left and right immediately. And it's, it's a different time. And I'll tell you what, like, I love it. Like I couldn't be more happy because now we're seeing like a boom in music. We're seeing more music than we've ever seen in our whole life. Yeah. And yeah, that means more shitty music too. Sure. But it a hundred percent means more really, really good music and more opportunities for people that think that they got it in them to actually try and go do it. Yeah. I find it to be really, really refreshing. And I think with over two, it was more so me trying to um, establish myself a little more and my mm -hmm. talents and shit. And then now that we're at over three, it's just me being able to give more honest pieces of myself and to be able to finish the story that I began telling with over one and over two. Because again, this whole entire trilogy has been five years in the making. That's insane. That's really insane to think about. So the, it really needs a storybook ending. And I, I think not only the story I've been telling with the music and the production, like and the sound itself, but the story that I tell with my lyrics, both literally and subliminally, I have to not only keep pushing on that, but I also, I really have to get that to come to a close because yeah, I feel like the entire Over Trilogy is my best work that I've done on this earth, period. Like even even over Heat Check, which is crazy. Hell to say. yeah, no, I respect it honestly. I mean, because Over is your baby. Oh, absolutely, man. And 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 Heat Check is too, but Over oh, is your yeah. personal baby. But it's cool because in a weird way too, right? Like Heat Check would have never been here without Over. That's a fact. And it's it's just one of those things that's like I uh, I, I have to give it the same respect that I've gave it the past five years, and I, I can't wait to not only like and it's and don't get don't get it wrong. Like part of me also wants to get into more conceptual, like like different. Like I want to get into more albums that follow a sim like follow the same sound pattern, the same theme, right? Get into more out of concept albums. Maybe even do like concept albums that are storyline based. Sure. Like, but you feel like you gotta not, put a pretty little bow on what you worked so hard on for so long. That and and I'll say this: like whatever your story is in life, you can't rush it, right? No, not at and all. And for me, I know even outside of the music, I'm still in the formative years of my life, and I still and I think over is a huge encapsulation of that every single one of them you know what i mean i need to finish telling that story of who i am before i can ever ever imagine conceptualizing an album that's outside of the realms of completely honest and who i am that that makes perfect sense to me 
That makes perfect sense to me, and I'm sure the fans will understand that as well. And I'm sure they're hyped to hear that over three's on the way. Just know it's going to be my best work, period. Bottom line. Bottom line. Catch me on a bad day, I'm a drill fanatic Listen to the schemes, they say Blizzy fantastic Walking through the streets and like a nigga ready to go blast 16, moving wild, 20, I'm so passive That's the past tense, niggas know it's in me, moving savage Knew since I was six that a nigga was an average Hold on to a lot of shit, had to drop all the baggage If I wanna get to where I wanna be, gotta go through the passage This my story, got a lot of chapters, I can't trash it And my new whip zooming, I ain't gon' crash it Okay, like Caden switch, lights don't flip, clear minded, I can't trip, stressed out, it ain't shit, my spark that zip, shoes on, walking proudly, promise I won't slip, got some drip, I'm the one that don't skip, brand new clip, Beyblade Tyson, we gon' let it rip. DC told me keep the blick, get quick, cause niggas at night be creeping, niggas be demons. Roll up on the block, I'm in a different mode. Roll up in the block, I'm in a different mode. Roll up in the block, I'm in a different mode. Niggas want to smoke, hit a pick and roll. Roll up on the block, I'm in a different mode. Roll up in the block, I'm in a different mode. Niggas want to smoke, hit a pick and roll. Roll up on the block, I'm in a different mode. Manifesting dreams, now they coming true Had to go a long way to get here, yeah, I done grew As if I got niggas locked up, yeah, I know a few More than two, ain't no rap cap and only rap the truth What's I knew, how to move when I was little Middle school dreaming, as a kid saw my brother Rapping, riding and scheming When he died, started making beats to fight off some demons Eighth grade, we started rapping at the tables and snapping Know a lot of words were rhyme rapping with trapping Started off average, had to up the skills and that shit happened Niggas in school would pay me just to feature on tracks I'm like 15, nigga, call that Musical track, selling features to them niggas, cash app looking fat. They like bliss you the truth. I'm like, you know that's facts. If I was smart, would've up the more and got a bag. But I'm so going strong, nigga. I ain't never going sad. Roll up on the block, I'm in a different mode. Roll up in the block, I'm in a different mode. Roll up in the block, I'm in a different mode. Niggas want smoke, hit a bigger roll. Roll up on the block, I'm in a different mode. Roll up in the block, I'm in a different mode. Niggas want smoke, hit a pick and roll. Roll up on the block, we in a different mode. bit about like what's in our current heavy rotation because we talk a little a lot about because it's important we talk a lot about us as artists but i want to give us a little bit of a chance to feed our heads a little bit as uh music fans okay all right all right so what's in my current rotation yeah and i mean you can get keep the really good shit from off i guess you know that's cool but i I personally right i think i'll put them on i think i'll put them on today so listen all right as of as of recently and i know my girlfriend's gonna cringe when she hears this but west side Gun. Oh, boom, let boom, me boom, boom, fucking boom. tell you, boy, he can spit like nobody else. I well, not the czar, but <laughs> <laughs> but nah, he has been uh, his new album ten. I think it's Hitler wears Hermes part ten. Oh, dude, yeah, fucking what a classic series, front to back front to back it is a great record and it's been on repeat for as long as it's been out which i think it's been like a month or two now um really in the rio obviously free rio free everybody in the flint scene is doing their thing i'm, pr- I'm so so hyped for that glad to see baby tron's finally getting a lot of clout like he deserves it um so them the dmv music shout out little dude shout out uh, money more shout out you know what i'm saying big flock like all these people are complete they're always on my rotation and it's and zaman is another one because those, these are the kind of artists that make me think hard like they make me want to come up with the harder punchlines. like the shit shit that makes you want to like you hear it and you giggle like that's how i know it's a hard line if i look around the room and i see people like laughing because the bar was so funny like that was that's the type of music that's been on rotation for me because it it inspires me to be a better artist 
I would say as far as like new shit that I've been bumping on a heavy rotation, man, it's got to be that, hey, got to be that scaring the hoes, John. Ah. That scaring the hoes shit by uh, Danny Brown and JPEG Mafia. Because look, I'm, I'll say this, right? No surprise here. I'm a Danny Brown mark. No surprise here. I'm heavy, 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 heavy into JPEG Mafia for the same reasons that like self-produced, yep. like very experimental. Yeah. like. And I'll say this, man. They fucking that for me at least. I might sound crazy. That's a five star. That's a ten out of ten for me. I mean, that's that's how I feel about uh, ten by West Side Gun. And you may not feel the same way, but that's why I love music so much because it's all objective. Check it. Now I just crash a brand new coupe, rip the juice up, sippin' juice. Bad little bitch, she staying cute, but she don't never tell the truth. Fuck this love shit, why I'm always being mad or I'm confused. You the only thing that be on my mind, but you rather be with me. Niggas, you just mad cause I just rather be with binges. If I want it, I'ma get it. in my way, not recommend it. Though I promise that this rap should never come into an end. Cause it's the only thing that be on my mind, but I wanted it with you. And I thought our love was true. And I just wanna be with you, hey. Hey, I got a hemis, we fixin' the issue. Wiping his nose, we ain't giving no tissues, bro. Look at me feeling advanced, bro. Don't snitch, nigga, that is the principle. Doing them dirty like eight ago. All this shit, they be talking so cynical. Start me, that is your end, and bro. Cut her off, she was acting too friendly, bro. He a junkie, he be scratching the itch, bro. We call him with that bed like a fishing pole. Look at this bitch of me rolling, putting him down, I ain't talking no bowling. Uh, he's six, nine niggas be trolling. Cut him down, but he got hit in his colon. Uh, pushing the wheel like it's stolen. Out here living my life like it's golden. Uh, too sad, don't show no emotion. Got your girl rubbing on me like it's lotion. Uh, <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk dream house builds. Hmm. That's a tough one. You got a million. Well, no, that's not even. Why don't we no, want to limit we'll it? Say, to we'll say, we'll call it. You have infinite amount of money. Right? Sure. What is your dream home? All right, so here's the deal, right? Mm hmm. I really don't have a dream home, but what I do have is like dream spots, if that makes sense. Like I, if I could take, let's say 10 million and split it into like three different places across the country, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Okay, we can play that. I would want like maybe an apartment style, like, or like condo, like, uh -huh. like high rise condo type deal, like either in California or New York. Oh yeah, those are nice spots. So, but in the city though. Yeah, I mean, because those are it's especially as a musician, it's good to have like you can just be out there and be able to stay out there Correct. for a second. But then I would want one like probably down like in um maybe somewhere down in Texas. And the reason I say that is because of all the tax shit, and it's a lot cheaper to buy a house down in Texas. So Texas for, is nice. So for less money, you can build a bigger house. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's it could be a little too yeehaw-y for me, oh, but I still me. think Texas is a very nice place. Me too, and I'm not big on the politics down in texas there's that, but i will say like that's, that's as far as i'll take that texas but. is like so huge that you'll always be able to find your spot in texas you know what i mean Correct. whether it's like houston austin yeah. um i definitely Dallas. wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind houston at all my third spot would just be like something like kind of quaint so like maybe like a farm style like like big at like a bunch of acres and like Ooh, yeah so that like i Safe could like farm. have like fat ass parties and not disturb neighbors and yeah things that would like be that, nice you know? yeah that would be really so nice. i can't really think of a location for that maybe even virginia because that's you know where i might as well up. man but um yeah it would definitely that's probably how i would do that yeah and i would say for me like cause damn that if i had a couple spots i'll say this like <clears throat> i need to have my <sighs> your home base I need to have, so yeah, my home base would be, I would either find like, I'd either find the nicest place I could in Massachusetts, or I'd Ooh. find the nicest place I could in Virginia. Yeah. Only, just basically wherever I could be closest to like family and friends, right? Makes sense. And then what I would do, right? I would, if we're going to do the spread it across multiple homes, right? I would have a, maybe like a condo in LA, like you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. Um, New York, I'd probably just run a hotel, so I'll skip New York just because sure. I'm a little biased. I'm sure. from New York, but I love New York. But of course, it's just a fucking busy, busy, busy place. However, right, and I know we're, we're really bending these rules a little bit, a but little bit. I would want, all right, two safe farms, okay? So, like, I guess four properties if you're counting, like, sure. home in the east, home in the west, right, of the country. <laughs> but then I need two safe farms outside of the U.S. in case shit goes south here, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yes. Good point. Good so, point. Good point. One of them, right, is going to be in Toronto, Canada, because I fucking adore not only Toronto, but I adore Canada That's to a fine, point man. to a point where that might even be one of my, if not my primary home type shit. Like I God, say, maybe only because of the visa shit. I don't. Maybe I'll get citizenship out there. Who cares? Seriously. You know what I'm saying? Now, now that you said that, you kind of fucked my whole world up because I, I agree with you. I would, I would want at least one. But let me fuck your world up even more. You don't want to know what that fourth safe farm would be? What? Japan. Japan. And again, that would be it. Would be a nice place. However, I wouldn't have a lot of assets out there aside from the property, only because their economy is tanking like. A motherfucker. I feel locked up, I can't even break the sweat. Put your guns up, we ain't got their presidents. I feel fucked up, baby, I feel upset. I feel fucked up, baby, I feel upset. I feel fucked up. Bounce back, baby. Take dig my down spin. Why you dating slash girls you don't love? He said he got the can't understand that. That bitch stressed me out. Told me she would kill herself. Now she cut me off and shut me out. She seen villainous now. Fucking my baby got bad at my love, like I better, yeah. I am not stressing. I'm only this fuck to my family, as you can see. WFO, I'm repping. I'm counting these Benjamins, look at the registry. She look her lips like a cinnamon. I'm such an all-star, I should get a letterman. I'm trying to brag, sorry, I just got better. Hate me, cause I'm stressed. Hate me. I'm just settled down Maybe I'm just over analyzing You are so much better now You so much better than my fucking old baby I feel like I hit the lot though you a different mode Maybe I'm just lucky Maybe I'm just settled down Maybe I'm just over analyzing You are so much better now Do we realize the greatest is No, no I love you and that's all there is I love you and that's all there is Don't want me your life's greatest is No, no I love you and that's all there is 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 www.heatcheckshop.myshopify.com 
And with that, Heat Check thanks you for tuning in to this episode of our radio podcast, Heat Check Radio 66.1 FM, and we will see you next month.